welcome to the 84th playing of the Rose Bowl game. Matching number one, Michigan Wolverines, and number seven, Washington State Cougars. Yes, it is Southern California indeed. The San Gabriel Mountains framing the city of Pasadena, and just below the famous intersection of Colorado and Orange Grove Boulevard, the Arroyo Seco, where they built the Rose Bowl back in 1922. Jay Feely will kick off for the Michigan Wolverines. The deep people for Washington State Jay are number Feely nine, Kevin McKenzie, and Nyan Taylor, number 82, Back and they are burners. The field is perfect. And so is the weather. Here we go. hunker down and hold together to give Ryan Leaf time as the offensive front. They're facing one of the strongest rushes in college football. They are going to be outsized in some spots. The receivers, five of them on the field sometime, four all the time, and collectively, there's something to see. But they are facing one of the best secondaries in the country. In the backfield, Ryan Leaf you know about, the Leaf who grew Ryan into a tree. Tight end is Love Jefferson, running back Michael Black ran for 1,157 yards this season. Here's your first play of the 84th Rose Bowl game. And guess what, Leaf is throwing, and it is caught. A pickup of eight. The Michigan defensive front, they are the woodsmen. You may think they've got chainsaws before the day's over. Get they are yard. very good, Second and they are big and strong. The linebackers, Tommy Hendricks is a free safety, actually, but because of the defensive packages, they are going to put him up there in a linebacking spot. You'll have five and six defensive backs on the field throughout this ball game. Second down and two for Washington State. These passes thrown it is third and two for the Cougars. Marcus Ray creeps up to the line of scrimmage and then backs off. Leaf hands it to Michael Black. He gets across the 30 out to the 33. So it's first down just beyond the 32-yard line for Washington State. And Sean Pinch is the pressure coming, passes away incomplete. They lose a yard, and, and they're three wide up. Incomplete. Thanks averages, just under 44 yards per punt. It's a pretty good kick away. Woodson circles on it at the 22-yard line. Gets away from the first wave of coverage. And the second finally gets him at about the 25-yard line. Can't do that. You've got to keep them over the knee pad. The knee pad has to be over the knee. This is Chris Howard on the first carry of the ball game. Starting lineup for the Wolverines along the offensive front. Two redshirt freshmen, Jeff Backus and Steve Hutchinson. Chris Zeman's a sophomore. Adamy and uh, Jensen changed positions, but they've melded very well. The receivers, the tight end Jeremy Tooman is leading the team in receptions as far as the ends are concerned. Wide out high streets finally has healthy hands. And the big number in the backfield is Chris Howard. 868 yards on the ground. This is Brian Tracy rolling and throwing to the tight end. And it's good for the first down. The Washington State defense Again, along the front, big yards. people here. Two 300-pounders in Gary Holmes and Leon Bender. Dorian Boos and Shane Doyle are quick people and quite blanky. They can reach in the air. Got to throw it over them. The linebackers, this is a very quick group. And they will come. They're not as big as some, but they're quick. And uh, this is the defensive secondary. Lamont Thompson is a true freshman with five interceptions in his last three games. Maybe they don't allow that down there, and the Pac-10 does. I doubt it. And slipping and sliding and falling, losing his footing is Chris Lloyd. All right, Brian Greasy goes to the shotgun. Howard is in motion. He led the team in receptions this year. They thrust Greasy out of the pocket. Pressure coming, passes away. And it is 
thrown out of bounds. Cougar caught it over there. They're going to give him the interception. Lamont Thompson. This is his sixth interception in the last three games. He's a true freshman. Does a nice job of getting his feet in. Yeah, he had three against Washington. He's got four wide outs. Nobody back there with him. There are five wide outs on the field. Preston Simmons pass away. Pass dropped. Pass dropped by Sean Mack Washington. Third down, long seven. Pass foul. Roughing the passer. Personal foul. First down. And Michigan had a blitz on. That's the single back. In the fourth quarter, it's going to be there's going to be some gut check now. He's had good protection, throws it down at the four yeah. hips. Out of the shotgun, blitz, going hard down the middle and drops. He figures if he goes inside the ten, he's going to let it go anyway. And Banks trying to shoot it straight up and fill it deep, and he's got a man down there that may do it. Get it quick. He's got Chris Jackson, the Michigan Wolverine, snapping the ball coming out of the end zone. A quarterback sneak by Brian Greasy. Yes. Ball is handed to Chris Howard. Third down. Ball handed to Howard, and he is dropped right at the 10 of his end zone. And pressure, but he gets it out. It's a good kick. Tim's coming up for it. Yes, Cole puts it down. First down from the 47-yard line of Michigan. He stands and throws quickly. Has a man over there. That's Chris Jackson. Jackson wiggled around and picked up the first down. Take it off. Michigan shows blitz. They're coming. They got it. Number 55, Deontay Jones. As they lose six on the play. Give it a black. Black pops it up the middle. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another tackle. Keeps on. Third down now and seven. Takes off. Gets his first down. See, he is not immobile. No score in the first quarter with four men to play. And to the way to go. Black's got the room. Fifty fellows gets inside the 50. He's pass. Touchdown. McKenzie. Ryan Lindell. The extra point kick. He's good. 17 to go in the first quarter. Washington State goes to the lead. 3-7. Anthony Thomas, number 32, is out there looking at the ball, going deep into the end zone and beyond the field of play. And Michigan has trailed in the first quarter in five of their games this year. Woodson on the field on the offensive side now. Some bruises are all healed by now. Ball is handed off by Greasy. And the play by Chris Howard. So from the 30, first down for the Wolverines. That's Shaw in motion. Greasy back, swings it out to Chris Howard. He's caught in the backfield by Boost. Second down and 13. And Greasy back again. Sets up a screen. Ball goes to Chris Howard. Look out. That's the first down. It's a good, strong run by Howard. And Woodson has come off the field. And the ball is turned and given to Thomas. Anthony Thomas, <laughs> second down and eight. He back, knocks it off right here at the end of that tailback, and again they miss the tackle. There's two tackles. And after the ball, as the ball was being thrown, ball is handed to Thomas. And uh, that will, there will be no more play as we run out of time. Clarence Williams is on the field and apparently will play in when we come back from this break. Seven nothing, Washington State leads. 
with Washington State leading Michigan 7 to nothing. It's second down and eight for the Wolverines. Brian Greasy drops it off very quickly to Clarence Williams, who has come in for his first play. And catching the ball, Kruger showing blitz. They bring uh, Truman back toward the ball. Brian Greasy dropping the throw, gets his pass away, and it's deflected. Uh, a lot of tricks. He's got to to prepare. High hanger, that'll be pretty good. He's going to let it go, and he takes a further bounce. Comes bounding back up the field. First down and 10 from their own 23. No Cougars backs. lead, 7 to nothing. No backs in the backfield. Five, five wide receivers. No backs back there. Pressure's coming. He gets it away. And the pass is incomplete. Second and 10. Woodson coming around the corner. Passes away. to get that one in, Keith. Ball handed off. And not a lot in there for Dewan Gilmore. Throws it out here. Ball is caught by McKenzie. And a good, solid open field tackle. Third down and four. He's got it. First down. He's got loose. It's Chris Jackson. And out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Joe Blitz, they're coming. Passes away. He's open. He missed him. Gilmore. That play will have on the rest of this game. Ball is handed inside to Chris Floyd, the big fullback. And go in the area of Charles Woodson. Kruger's show blitz. And Brian Greasy runs away from it. And we'll get up to about the 27-yard line. Third down now and three. On fourth down, Jason Benson is in the punt. Gets one that has a low trajectory. Sean Penn tries to find some room. They lead seven to nothing with 9.43 to play in the first half. Michigan shows blitz. Run it up the middle with Gilmore. And Gilmore sidesteps one tackle. Every time they see this, they're going to lay their ears back and come. Passes away. The pass is caught. First down, the man made the catch on his knees, and now they're going to wave it off and say no catch. They swung too hard, I think. He probably broke his knee. They got him. James Hall in the punt is Jeff Banks. Gets it out, gets it to turn over. Pretty good kick. Woodson at the 19. First man missed him, second man missed him, gets a block on the corner. He may tear this one up. And they finally get him out of bounds. Greasy still got it after the play action and going deep downfield. He caught, tripped him up, and a penalty flag. Pass interference against the defense, 15 yards from the previous spot, and an automatic first down. Woodson is on the field, and he's the man in motion, and he has the ball, and he's coming around, and he is caught behind the line of scrimmage by Brandon Moore. Ball comes back to the 46-yard line. And Brian Greasy drops. Gets his pass in the air for Ty Streets. And he's got it. And he's gone. Touchdown, Michigan. Ty Streets is 6'4". Ray Jackson 6'1". And Streets just simply outran him. And Brian put the ball right where it had to be. Baker for the point. And it's good. Penalty flag, though. Two penalty flags in the end zone. There's the guys that... We have too many players yeah. on the field. Illegal you think, participation. Yeah. Those guys the back there are the ones that do the counting. They, they count them, don't they? Point is yeah. good. And they both, they both must have counted. It's four yards deep, 
and there'll be no return. So 7-7 seven, seven time. Each pass thrown to the outside. It is completed to McKenzie. And he loses the football. Quickly to Jackson. Chris is down in complete four Second down. Here comes Gold on the blitz and pick him up. Throw the ball. His pass is completed. We're in 7 7 time. In the 84th playing in the road coach. Oh, he did a kill move. And he'll have a yard. Goodness, it was in the hand. We have an offensive face mask penalty, which is automatically 15 yards. The penalty is from the spot of the foul. Half the distance to the goal. Repeat the down. Well, that's an 18-yard penalty. He stands up, steps away, throws it to ground. Third down and 27 for the Cougars. No backs. Lee takes off. He gets it up to the 26, 27 yard line. No pressure. Kick is away. Woodson at the 32. And again. Washington State coming in with its highest ranking in the national polls ever. Brian Greasy on first down for the 32. Complete, complete to Russell Shaw. His first reception of the day. Inside four minutes to go in the first half now. They got a double tight end alignment. Campbell and uh, Tuman. Tuman has not caught a ball yet today. That's Anthony okay, Thomas, the freshman, and he is decked by Dorian Booth. A second down and 13. Greasy still got it. Passes away to Tuman, his first catch of the day. And he's knocked out. Third down and three. This is an area where the Cougars like to blitz. There they come. And Benson, good kick, fair catch call at the 26-yard line. Here come the Cougars, single back at Gilmore, and the pass across the way. Four wide outs, three of them at the top of the picture. Hand it off to Gilmore. That's a pretty good little run there by Gilmore. He gets it up to the 35-yard line. Third down and a short two. Dropped it. Leaf dropped the snap. And this is the fifth. Woodson's waiting. Good air under this one. Good kick. And Woodson calls the fair catch at the five yard line. Woodson's in there now as a wide out, top of the picture, and Brian Gracie drops the throw, swings it out there, and it goes to Chris Howard with the penalty flag on the field. As Howard runs for a first down. That's what it is. Good run here inside by Clarence Williams. Well, he so you got an even score at 7-7. You got 30 minutes left to play, and they'll go talk about things. So the shadows start reaching across the old bowl, and we'll reach across the country to John Thunder. Without black, uh, they hurt a lot. Here's the kickoff. It goes to Michigan to start the second half. Bouncing on the ground. It's finally picked up. And Anthony Thomas, the tailback, will run it across the 20 and out to about the 24-yard line. So let's go with it from the 24-yard line. Brian Greasy, play action, rolls out and throws incomplete. Just starting the third quarter of play. Second down and 10. Chris Howard. Big hole left side. Great job of blocking in front of him by Russell. Greasy throws. Almost intercepted. Second down and ten. Handed off to Thomas. And Thomas, third down. Here they come. Reverse. Here comes Woodson. One tackle miss. And finally he's taken down behind the line. 
offside Washington State. Yeah. The near uh, mid, okay. past midfield. All right. There's the first down right there. Chris Howard. We'll go back to Chris Howard. Charles Woodson up there at the top of the picture. Has a wide out. They're looking at him. They're going to him. Ray Jackson defending, and it's incomplete. Thrown beyond the field of play. Here they come. Sideline dropped by Russell Shaw. Building that line for Michigan. Kevin McKenzie is in the field now. Apparently, his summit settling down at the high hanger, and they kill it. So they work it just the way they wanted it. Washington State now for the first time today. Very, very the poor ball. field position. The ball comes loose. Leap out of the end zone. Let's it go. It's Max Washington. He's got it. Kevin McKenzie. He is back on the field now for the Cougars, and they've got five wideouts. Throw it quickly to Timms. The Timms has hit quickly. And it's second down, six, seven, seven, five between Washington State and Michigan, third quarter. And that's and a lot of Michigan folks down in that area of the stadium, and they're trying to help. When they come. Oh, they're offside. Michigan's offside. Absolutely. They're I think it's the thing. Yeah, we're going to be from Gilmore. He got it. First and ten. Roll out. Bought time. And down the sidelines is Chris Jackson for a first down at the Michigan. 39 yard line. Jackson with five catches, 89 yards. Now first down inside the Michigan 39. And they run it. And Jason Clayton. Picking up five yards on second down and five leap, back pedaling. Down the middle, he's wide open. That's McKenzie inside the 15. Put it on the 14, make it a first down. Here they come with reversing the ball. It's Sean Timms into the corner. Touchdown! They started on the one-yard line out of Vancouver, Washington. Clarence Williams is out there as one of the return men for Michigan and now picks it off. And he gets it over the goal line. So it'll come out to the 20. First down for the Wolverines at the 20 now. Brian stands up and throws to the sidelines. Russell Shaw and Shaw from Los Angeles. Second down, call it five, five and a half, hand the ball off to Chris Howard, and Howard is tackled. I don't think he's done all that much substituting so far today. It's been a very comfortable day. That's what Howard trying for the first down, and uh, Chris Strong gets it. Put it on the 31-yard line for the first down. Greasy's pass away. It's no underneath the coverage. He wasn't It's stopping the run. The Truman's been very quiet. Here goes Chris Howard again. Right side. 39 yard line, third down and two. There they come. And there's the first down. The ball at the 42 yard line now. Greasy rolls out, still got it. Let's it go big for Ty Street. through the ball. <laughs> the point for the lead. Good. The longest pass play of the year for the Michigan Wolverines. And it gives them a 14 to 13 lead at 507 to play in the third quarter. Yard 
touchdown reception for Ty Streets. He has one for 53, so he's having a pretty good day. That kick off. So the Cougars go to work first down from their own 20. Jason Clayton stays in as Leaf drops. He's clobbered as he throws the ball and then he's incomplete. Second down and 10. He really hit it. And it off to Clayton. And Jason Clayton can't get away from it. Third and 12. Pressure coming, steps up, throws, got a man up there for a first down. Three wide outs at the top of the picture. He steps away from Ian Gold and moves up to the 46-47 yard line. Gilmore is in at the single back position and gets the ball. And uh, he's taken down for a yard loss. Well, checking off, checking off. He may be coming down right at the bottom of the screen. He sees single coverage. Nope. They go for the run. Get it. out of there. We've got some heat on him, but it'll go out of bounds. There'll be no return. It's out at the Michigan 23. It's down for the Wolverines. They lead 14 to 13, trying to win their first undisputed national championship in a half a century. This is Chris Howard. And Chris ran right in. Third and nine. That's completed to Russell Shaw. That's Howard. Up and get the cover. So we played three. Michigan 14, Washington State 13. Back after this message with the word from our ABC station. Michigan trying to win a national championship and beat Washington State. And the pass is shotgun. It's come. coming. Almost caught him. Passes away. The pass is completed. Passes the by high streets. Ball is at the 47 for Michigan. And this is Chris Howard. Quickly out for Shaw. Get him out there one-on-one, -on -one, and the first man missing, Ray Jackson missing. Invited the whole town, especially mamas who had big sons. High, long, looping pass thrown to the sidelines, and this one is incomplete. It recruits uh, the high school to anybody. Second down and ten, gives the ball to Anthony Thomas, the big freshman takes it. That'll be a first down. That's <laughs> true. Academic scholarship for yes, the National sir. Foundation. Okay. Up the middle. Chris Floyd, the big fullback by the Michigan offense. Oh, that's a stop at the line of scrimmage. I mean, a whack by Brandon Moore. Thomas is back in, the big back. Brian play action throws. He's got two open. Touchdown. kick that goes well back into the end zone and no return by Nyan Taylor. Sore leg and all. Well, if they need him now, I mean, it's crunch time. McKenzie's out there, too, and he's the man in motion, and they give it to Black. And he runs it up to the line of scrimmage, and that's about all there is. Michigan defense is on fire. Four years, very veteran. The time now runs out. 
the time. Ron Williams gets his first sack of the day. If they have to punt from here, the Wolverines will get very good field position. He throws it, he completes it. Comes across the 30-yard line to Kevin McKinney. First down at the 31. 9-10 to play as the clock kicks down. Roll out, look out. Passes away, it's caught. It's Juan Gilmore out of the backfield. All the way down to Clayton is the single back. Lee pumps it, and he's sacked. Number 55, Deontay Jones. The Jones has nine tackles for the ball game and two sacks. Second down, underneath, and the pass is underthrown. Get rest of it on fourth down. Third and 17. Blitz is coming. He's coming. They're gaining on him, and they got him at the 30. What is it for a field goal again? It's pretty long. 48 yards. He can handle it. He can. Is it in? Yes. 48-yard field goal by Ryan Lindell, and Mike Price gave him a big endorsement through the whole season, and he just delivered. It's 21-16 now. This won't be. I don't think it'll be a start. Not at seven plus. It's down to the one. Anthony Thomas. Oh, they him upside down at the 19-yard line. So they start, they put it at the 18-yard line and give it to Chris Howard. And he's going down just about the line of scrimmage. 157,000 recorded requests. They know of. And the pressure, and the pass is away, and it's up for grabs. Because Washington, it's Washington State, was lightning in the bubble, Keith. It's third and 11. No pressure. No, they grab him by the helmet. Now Bender takes off after him. He's going for the first down, and he's got it. And I don't think he's going to make it here, Keith. No, no. So much for you. <laughs> bad angle. I got a bad angle up here. Here they come. Hand it to Chris Howard. Howard trying to get outside and move here. Second and a little more than ten. This is Anthony Thomas. He's across the 30. It is third down and seven for Michigan. Greasy stands up, throws, sets up the screen. Woodson has the ball. Woodson is looking for room. Woodson has the touchdown. And a big one for Michigan at the 40-yard line. Greasy rolls out. He looks downfield and elects to win it. And takes the leg. They've never had an opportunity to do what they have in front of them today. They're trailing by five points. The pressure coming from number two. Third down and six. Woodson at the bottom of the picture. Greasy looks left, throws that ball. Goes to Shaw. Shaw has a first down. Handed away to Clarence Williams. But second down and eight. Stay with the run. And it goes to Anthony Thomas. And Thomas is taken down. The last time Michigan had a losing season was 1967. Leach comes in for the pressure. Leach cannot get to him in time. The ball is delivered. Into the middle goes Howard. And Chris is a little bit. As the football coach to the Michigan Wolverines. He'll be sure. Chris Howard is tackled up. Blocked around the legs. And the flesh holds are popping all over the place as Chris Howard bounces to the outside and can't get away with it. <laughs> For the field goal, Jay Feely, the man who does the kicking off, has a big leg. He may punt it. He might do anything. He is going to punt it. And he's rolling around at the five, rolling toward the sideline. They don't want it to go out of bounds. Although there's three big fellas and uh, eight runners. As Lee stands to the goal line, looking around and throws to the sideline. It may have been out to do He's going on to center. Oh, yeah. He'll get a big play out. They got three of them over there at the top of the picture. 
that's where he's looking, and there it goes. And it is intercepted. No. Intercepted. Yes. Woodson intercepted. Did Taylor catch it? No, he caught it. Watch this. Watch the uh, watch Taylor right here. That's interference. Just shoves the man out of the way, and it's ruled a catch. You got to throw it in. You may get two chances if you throw it quickly. Nine seconds. Penalty flag across the way. They get leaf. Well, a dead ball foul before the ball was snapped. It would be a five-yard penalty. Replay the down. We need eight seconds on the clock. They're moving before the snap. Pass. Lateral. Down to the 26-yard line. Put the hook in lateral. You got one play left. He's under center. Spikes it. Clock shows time has run out. What does the referee say? I'm waiting. I think it's over, Keith. The referee's leaving the field. Yep, the officials are all leaving. Man in the white hat is headed to the tunnel. The football game is over. Michigan wins. 21 to 16. An opportunity to claim their first undisputed national championship in a half century. What a year for both these teams. And these are two teams that's Glenn Steele on the right and the blue and Ryan Lee hugging each other.